if you have FlyDG Apex 2 and you have Rewash, this is the good time to start playing Flight Simulation, because I just got a config for you. DCS World, by itself, is a free game and there's two free aircrafts in it, one of them is an attack plane, called Su-25T Frogfoot. This Apex 2 config is made specifically for that plane. Do note that Frogfoot is a low fidelity module, which means you can only interact with it via keyboard or gamepad input only, the cockpit isn't clickable nor interactable. For the config to be usable, you also need Rewash's combo license and advanced mapping license. In the description, there's download link to the Rewash file and the Lua file. First you need to apply the Rewash config to the gamepad, then you need to apply Lua file to in-game controller profile. After downloading and installing the game either directly from the official Eagle Dynamics site or Steam store, open the game and click on the option button on the top left corner. Click on control tab. Make sure SU25T is selected in this drop-down menu. Click on this menu and select Axis Commands. Rotate left stick on your gamepad and see which device you're seeing here is responding. Click the column that has the left stick assigned to. Load the Lua file provided in the description and test if the right stick is responding. Here's the basic camera control. You use gyro to look around. If you're new to both flight sim and gyro control, I recommend you to have gyro off. The preferred setup is having gyro on and ratchet gyro button serves as gyro pause, however. Here's flight control. There's flight stick, rudder, and throttle. Basic system functionalities, including communication menu, control indicator, map and game speed control. Game speed controls will help shorten wait time. Press and hold M2 button to activate utilities layer. This layer lets you start up the aircraft and taxi it. Normally when you start a mission, the aircraft is usually already started, but in case it isn't, here's how to do it. You turn the electrical power on first, then make sure throttle is at zero and start left engine and right engine. Lastly, close the canopy. You will also have to wait for at least 3 minutes for GPS to finish calibrating. Use game speed control to speed up the process. If the aircraft is already started, you don't have to wait at all. Since this is simulation, there's no fancy HUD with all the information right in front of your face, you will have to study how to read the instruments. Make sure the flaps are set to take off by pushing right stick down while you're on utilities layer. Use throttle but keep it below 50%. Steer the aircraft with rudder and brake with M1. Taxi your frogfoot to the runway. The best way to learn DCS World is to do it either through reading the manuals or watching YouTube videos. I suggest you not use the in-game tutorial because it will challenge your patience. Once you're in the air, take some couple of minutes flying around to get yourself familiar with the plane. Ideally, you want to practice until you can coordinate camera control with flight control. This skill will transfer over to other aircrafts as well, especially fighter jets in dogfights. Don't forget about flaps and air brake as well, flaps help you tighten your turn, while air brake slows you down. Since this is an attack plane, you will yourself diving with it. Practice deploying air brake alongside reducing throttle to increase time window on every dive. Press 
Now that you have been flying around without any aid, you notice that Frogfoot has the tendency to pitch up as it picks up speed. This is no bug, it's merely realistic physics and flight characteristics of the aircraft at work. Luckily the aircraft has the necessary tool to remedy the issue. On the trimmer layer, you will be able to offset the flight stick to counter the effect by moving the XY pad. Trimmer also helps balance the aircraft when weight distribution is not even, usually after you launch a heavy missile or bomb on one wing. Additionally, Frogfoot also has various autopilot modes. In this config I only mapped four modes that I use the most. Attitude hold keeps the aircraft fly toward desired direction. Level flight keeps the aircraft balanced. It also serves as auto trimming function. Radar altitude keeps the aircraft on the contour of the earth. This is the one mode you want to deploy should you fly close the ground. Lastly, route following is a context sensitivity autopilot. I only recommend you use it after study how it works. You can use left stick click to turn off autopilot, or M4 to temporarily override the autopilot. This concludes the basic flying tutorial, good luck and have fun. Adieu, non,